Hello, welcome back. If you've been here before, and if this is your first time uh, on my channel, uh, I'm glad you came here. I hope you're excited enough about the content today that you're willing to give a good old thumbs up after you've watched this. And I hope uh, that you'll consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, I have a few different playlists going on. Uh, this particular content is uh, my uh, mindset uh, playlist. And uh, um, this is video number two. Uh, I've tried to do this on a pretty regular basis, at least weekly, maybe more than that, as uh, it makes sense. But today I want to ask you or start off by asking you a question. How is your energy? How are you feeling? Have you ever gotten triggered? And I guess that's really the, the focus of today's conversation. Is there something that happens in your daily life, your routine, your interactions with others, interacting with social media that has a tendency to trigger you from time to time. You know, maybe you don't know what your triggers are, but I want to talk a little bit about that today. And I want to share a personal experience. Um, so about a week or so ago, uh, I was interacting with another person. Um, we were talking about a topic and sort of unbeknownst to me, I got triggered and I got triggered really fast. Now, now here's the thing about, me personally, um, I have worked a lot on it. I mean, I used to get triggered all the time, maybe not daily, but certainly on a weekly basis. But then I started to like study and learn more about mindset and, you know, the conditions of being triggered. And I want to show you this graphic. This is, um, this is actually from dream fuel, uh, a company that, uh, coaches, uh, individuals and, and teams and, and companies on mindset. This is their graphic. Um, it's their performance zone graphic. I don't know if they are the original content and it might be a little hard to see here, but we'll give it a try. But as I look at this, there are sort of four performance zones uh, that are um, identified. And my uh, rudimentary understanding of the quote performance zones it's probably tied to human anthropology. I mean, it's been with us for a long time. And let me just tell you what those zones are, and, and maybe you can uh, understand this a little bit. So we have uh, flight, we have freeze, we have fight, and we have focus. And I, I, you probably have heard the, the phrase uh, fight or flight, <clears throat> fight or flight, fight or flight. And if you think about it, like, you know, think about uh, prehistoric uh, humans and, you know, they're trying to start fire and they go out to hunt wild animals and maybe they're gathering fruits and nuts and berries, whatever. But they're out, you know, on a hunt and there's this ferocious lion and they have to survive. And so that's, I think, when you think about, or if you've ever heard fight or flight, uh, usually it's about survival and, and flight means that you're going to try to run as fast as you can to get as far away from you can, uh, from the situation that you're in fight, you know, you're putting your gloves on, you're ready to just duke it out and, and to tackle this thing in front of you, you know, physically, some of the, the, um, the, uh, emotions and, uh, tied to like flight or like anxiousness, frustration, uneasy and restless. Uh, and, and some of the things that are associated with fight are being excited, energized, and motivated, right? So those are the, sort of the classic uh, performance zones that we're aware of. But freeze, also performance zone, uh, some of the emotions are being discouraged and overwhelmed and drained. You know, just you've got no energy uh, left to commit to the, to the conversation or the situation. And then focus is sort of like... Um, if you've ever heard or uh, the, the com people talk about being in flow state, this is just where things whew, just happen. You're at peace, you're relaxed, you're content. So that's a very, very high level and very brief, brief overview of performance zones. But I'll tell you about, you know, me being triggered. So it, it definitely put me in flight uh, right away. And I was frustrated. There was a little bit of fight happening uh, as well. Uh, and, and this particular conversation that triggered me, um, that I would fight a little bit and, and the other person would, was maybe fighting a, a little bit differently. So much so that I'm just like, ah, 
I don't like how I'm feeling. And there were probably even moments too where I even went into freeze where I just sat in silence, uh, sort of disconnected from the situation for several minutes. And, and, you know, it's funny because uh, sometimes my wife, you know, I'm sharing this with her and she's like, how did, how did this happen? I thought you were Mr. Mindset. And it's true. I, I do pride myself or fashion myself or, or work very hard just about every day on my own personal mindset. And I, I try not to get triggered such that, that it puts me into these, these negative performance zones of flight and freeze. And how do you know if you're getting into one of these performance zones? Well, let me tell you a little bit more. There's there's a whole bunch of neuroscience and, and and actually chemistry that's happening in your body when you're in these different performance zones. And let me talk a little bit about some of what happens when you're in flight. You have this this burst of adrenaline, right? And so right away that that impacts your heart rate. You start to have a, a more rapid and even in some cases more erratic heart rate. And you can feel it. Like if you're in tune to it, you can feel it. You know when you're there. Because you're, it just literally feels like your heart's about to pound out of your chest, right? And the other thing that happens chemically is your body gets flooded with cortisol. And I don't know, I'm still studying all this, so bear with me. But I know enough about cortisol to know that when that floods your body, it's like it's almost like a poison, right? And and it's how do you get rid of it? And you know the same thing with like freeze. Freeze also is flooding your body when you're in that performance zone, flooding your body with cortisol. Um, but uh, in, instead of adrenaline, it's more of acetylcholine. And acetylcholine is typically going to lower your heart rate. Um, so those are some things to, to be aware of. If like, it's something somebody says or does something, you read something or whatever the case may be, if you feel uh, uh, you know an erratic heart rate and you feel you know sort of like not yourself, um, you might be in that flight state. And if uh, at the same time you feel triggered, and, but you feel like sort of detached from what's going on and silent and not engaged, you may be in that free state. Uh, now, interestingly, when you get into flight, uh, there have been you know scientific studies that have shown that being in a flight performance zone actually lowers your IQ by about 20 points. So so what well if you are triggered and you're in flight and you're not as intelligent as you normally are you're going to say or do things that are going to reflect that your iq is lower your, your brain is shutting parts down and says hey run away and in doing so you're, you might be making some some silly choices and decisions about that particular situation so just be mindful of that now all that to be said um, there are ways that if you feel yourself moving into one of these these performance zones, there there's ways that you can sort of counteract that. And honestly, I mean, it takes practice. Don't miss your me. You're not going to get it right the first time. Um, but being aware of where you are in this performance zones is is first and foremost, you know, kind of the first step, if you will, just having that self awareness of where you are. Uh, and how you're feeling and that sort of thing. And again, I'll send you this chart if you want it. Just shoot me a con uh, comment uh, in the in the notes or, or in the in the, the post on this. Just shoot me a comment. Say, hey, send me this so I can be more familiar with it. I'll confirm with Dream Fuel. I don't think they'll care uh, if I share that with you. I'll, I'll make sure. But but I'll send this to you because that way you can at least have sort of a um, a visual reference to sort of give you some context as to how you're feeling. Um, but if you're in that, that flight or even that freeze and you want to try to not stay there and you want to try to move to more of the positive performance zones of fight and focus, um, then one way you can do that is through some breath work. Now, I'm going to have uh, a lot of content coming up here real soon on different um, breathing techniques and breath work and that sort of thing. And actually, there's a book out called, um, I think it's called Breathe. I'll have to, the author's name escapes me for a moment, but I read that a while back and it was fascinating, you know, just to learn, learning how to breathe. I mean, it's something that, that we, honestly, we all take for granted because I'm breathing right now and I didn't even think about one breath that I took while I'm talking to you all today. But being intentional about breathing, you know, throughout your day, 
is pretty friggin' awesome. And when you find yourself triggered in, in, in these negative performance zones, I want to suggest one uh, simple exercise that you can do in the moment at the time. And within a few breath cycles, you'll feel different. You'll feel less triggered. You'll feel you know like you're not getting sucked deeper into fly or sucked deeper into freeze. You can actually get you know at least back to neutral. And this is called paced breathing, P-A-C-E-D. And it's very simple. You're going to inhale for a count of four, and then exhale for a count of six. The key here is your inhalation and your actually back up. Your exhalation is longer than your inhalation. And so, you know, the physiology behind this is when you exhale at a, at a longer rate than you do inhale, then it will start to get your heart back into normal rhythm. Right? So if you inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Do this five, six times, maybe ten times. And your heart rate will start to relax. That adrenaline will start to reduce. And you'll start to feel better. And if you can sort of have some level of, of at least rudimentary mastery of, of your breath and, and be uh, self-aware of when you're in a certain situation and you know what things are your triggers, um, then through breathing and through that self-awareness, you can manage to stay in a good state of mind. And again, you know, getting into that flight your brain is not operating the way that it normally does, and it's going to lower your IQ. And we all want to be the smartest, most intelligent version of ourselves as we possibly can. So, you know, just through a little simple breathing exercise, you can put yourself right back where, uh, you know, a neutral state at the, at the very least. Um, so I encourage you all to try this. Um, you know, just do a little bit of intentional breathing. And, and just be self-aware of what's going on in your world. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, a uh, reminder uh, to, to give us a good old thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, I would like for you to do so. It really helps uh, us get some of this great, exciting content out uh, to you all on Mindset. I think we'll be doing uh, quite a bit more here on a variety of different topics here in the very near future. So until next time, just relax. Be self-aware and be intentional about your breathing. Hope you all have a great day.